it's a the film about a family in crisis set in Dublin and um, you know addiction has kind of taken over the home in a sense from the parental point of view Tony Collette's character and uh, who's Jack's mom in the, f- in the film and, and he's very much trying to hold the whole family together and um, you know uh, just trying to be the rock uh, in a very very you know uh, volatile and and, and, and rough environment and then yeah it just tells the story of this family as they try to get through this very rough patch he's a quite a typical young uh irish man from west dublin who's a taxi driver and uh like jer says he's part of a family that's in crisis and in turmoil and he's just trying his best to keep things together on and on an even keel in, in 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 his family life in his own head um, everywhere really you know he's just somebody who puts out fires for a living basically and um, I could really relate to the character and I just had an absolute blast making this film with Jared what drew me to it was uh, I moved from rural Ireland to urban Ireland Dublin and um, you know I was very much t- uh, I, I very much saw a huge amount of addiction around me in a sense much more in a much more you know huge way than I would have ha- would have had in rural Ireland because don't get me wrong it's there as well but and I just saw how it had really impacted young people and I saw the kind of the role reversal of kids becoming the parents of their parents when they were going through this tough time and I just thought this was really really interesting and nobody had kind of really touched upon this before or shined a light on it and that's kind of where it kind of came from and, and that's where the script came from. I read the script to Glassland and I thought it was really a profound script Um. But then I watched his movie Pilgrim Hill and I couldn't believe the amount of insight that he had and was able to project um, with that film about that society. Even though he'd grown up there and that was his world that he'd occupied, he just had every single piece of it perfectly right, in my opinion. And, um, you know, Glassland, when I, like I say, when I read the script, I was just wondering how this guy could have such a deep understanding of things that seemingly weren't touching or affecting his life in a direct way, but that he just, within him, just was the ability to tell the story about them. And uh, that's a very special thing about Jair, and uh, it was kind of the big reason that I wanted to be involved, I suppose, in, in, in his film and to work with him, and why I'd love to work with him again on something. You were coming off Transformers, coming into this, this, this uh, you know, much smaller, intimate, visceral world of filmmaking. She was coming off a huge production in um, uh, in America. Uh, Will Poulter was coming off the Maze Runner and uh, mm-hmm. coming into this production, and I think Michael Smiley was coming off the World's End. I think even you know, I, so they were coming off these massive films, and I think it just goes to show the quality and the you know the ambition of the actors that they'll you know I'm, I don't want to use the word step down because that's not the right phrase to use, but to kind of like go from that to this and and. It's all about acting to them. You know? For Tony, it was just from the get-go, right from the moment she came in, yeah. incredibly intense. I mean, her it first was... scene was her covered in vomit in the bed, passed out. Her next scene was getting her stomach pumped. Her next scene was thrown up in the toilet, you know? So it was just very visceral. full-on and visceral and unlike anything she'd done in quite a long time. And she was so far outside of her comfort zone. But, I mean, that's where she's really to be commended and revered because she she took up the challenge and and just really, really ran with it. For me, anyway, it was always, uh, and I think I said it to Jack on day one, it's like, let's, you know, let's let our generation go in and watch this thing and kind of respect their mom and dad a little bit more yeah. and what they do for them. Um, I've been very lucky with my parents. They've been incredibly good to me. Um, thankfully, addiction hasn't, <coughs> you know, touched my home. Um, and I've, I, 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 I've been very lucky, but I know there's friends of mine and, stuff that it has and it's it's a tough it's a it's a tough tough um it's a tough time when that happens so if you have a good life and your parents are good to you respect them you know that's kind of what i want it's you know a film that <coughs> if you haven't put your arms around your mom and given her a hug in a while it's the kind of film you should go and see and vice versa as well i think it's an important film for <coughs> an older generation to watch and to uh basically consider how they relate to their kids and um, what's healthy and what isn't.